Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 127. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, we are here now for the Ferrari 430 trophy. F430 to be specific, but it doesn't actually have the extra F on the uh, 430 on the little graphic there. That's that's gonna bug me. Anyways, we got six races to do. We're starting off with Road America Full, Sedona Raceway, Camino Via de Montserrat, Le Mans Circuit de la Sarthe, New York Circuit, and then Sebring. Let's get going. <laughs> Skrillex has finally released a song this year. Hadn't released a single song this year at all. And then um, this Friday that just came up, he'd released a song. Just don't do a spinotto. I'm so sad that Mattia Bonasso isn't actually in. Um, going to be the boss of Ferrari. I don't think it was his fault. I think Ferrari has just been shit for many years. Like, the reason they lost this championship was because they were a shit team. I don't think it's down to him. I don't know, I quite like Mattia Bonotto. I think he should stay in F1. I don't know. Oh, um... Cyril Ab... Ab... Abtoil, uh, whatever his name is. Basically, he's French. Um, which is why I can't pronounce his name. But Cyril, who used to be the boss of... Um, Renault, which when they then changed to Alpine, he lost his job and moved on elsewhere. He's actually going to be the boss of uh, Hyundai World Rally Team, which I'm actually pretty happy for because I was actually quite a good fan of Cyril. Like, throughout the Renault Red Bull drama, where, um, what's it called? Red Bull were actually acting like knobs, I was very much on Team Renault. Like, come on, and anything against Red Bull is like, yes, we're on their team. Especially after this year. It's been horrendous. But um, to see him actually be part of WRC now, he's never done rallying, so it's going to be interesting, but I think he's got what it takes. I think he's got what it takes to run a team. The only thing I am a bit disappointed, though, is that they... I think Hyundai did Julian Monset a, a little bit dirty. I think I think that's his name. The old Hyundai boss. They basically booted him out because he wasn't performing. And sure, for the start of the year, he wasn't that great. But in the later part of the year, very did a very good job. In terms of teams that I support in the WRC, it's very difficult. I'll be 100% honest. I don't know. Um, <laughs> WCR. Yeah, toilet racing. Let's go. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Welcome to the WCR. The toilet races. Um, if I was to... <laughs> See, I prefer have a much... Str it's very different to Formula 1, in my opinion. Um, because of the fact that there's so such a variety of drivers in each team. <laughs> the ultimate shithousery. Literally. <laughs> I think when it comes to WRC, because there's so many different like teams and different drivers, I find it very difficult to pick a team. I'm very much torn... I think Hyundai isn't my team. I'll be honest. I'm very much torn between M Sport and Toyota. Um, I probably back M Sport a little bit more 
because I really like the look of the Puma now. It's grown on me so much. Its emissions are zero, so it passes racing category. Powered by literal shit. <laughs> oh, that's such a great idea. Um, yeah, so when it comes to... WRC, I think it's slightly different. Because of the fact that there's not many teams in it anymore. And there's a lot more drivers. Um, I think it's very difficult to pinpoint... An actual driver. Uh, sorry, a, an actual team. Because every team has such a variety of skilled, unskilled. Um, I mean, I really like Thierry Neuville, but I'm not a fan of Danny Sordo. Because I know that Danny Sordo was taken away drives from Oliver Solberg, so not a fan. Um, I mean, I, I don't hate Danny Sordo, I'm just not, like, backing him to win. But then for Toyota, there's Elvin Evans I'm back into win. There's Kale Rompera. And there's Takamoto Katsuta. Um, I suppose for next year. <laughs> Very nice. I banned you for the exact reason that you're going to get banned now. Harassment. So, suit yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs> um... Very nice. Uh, yeah, where was I? Hyundai's gonna have S. Pekalapi next year. So, and Craig Breen, who I like those drivers. Uh, it is technically. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, uh, I forgot the timer. Oh, well. Um, Esapekka Lappi and Craig Breen are going to be driving for Hyundai. So, uh, I'm more root for drivers. Um, I think my drivers I want to root for next year is Elvin Evans and... Um, I want to say Calais Rompera, but if I'm rooting for two drivers in the same team, I'm going to be a bit annoyed, so... Oh, it's really tough. Yeah, Tessa having a racing team, that would be... Yeah, it came back. But... I mean, suit themselves. Glad to know that they have literally no life, that they just want to come and harass a streamer. At least I'm worth that much of their attention. Ha <laughs> ha. Also, cheers for the revenue. Ha <laughs> ha. Cheers for the money. Suit themselves. I'm not fussed. Bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Money tastes good. I mean, to be fair, uh, to go on to your question, Wolfie, IP bans, you don't IP ban. Um, but Twitch now flags. If someone gets banned, uh, everyone gets to see the unbanned requests that's a moderator. So, um, Yeah, when someone gets banned... Basically, if they're on the same IP or using the same hardware or whatnot, it will flag it as a ban evader. So the message doesn't actually go straight through to chat anyways. So, I mean, whatever they're trying to achieve, which I've got no clue, they can suit themselves. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, there's only so many accounts you can make before you lose interest, so...
yes, it did say snap on. The uh, tool company. Snap on penis. Nice. That's a very useful tool. That's a very useful tool. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Also, Kodo, I'll be having a food on stream today. So, as soon as my stream finishes today, I'll literally be, like, done. I mean, what attention can I give him? To be perfectly honest. Like, it's physically n no attention that I could give him. Like, oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to go cry. Oh, someone said the F word. Oh, someone said I'm fat. Oh, no. Not like I'm fucking blind and can't see that already anyway. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm so scared. Oh. Like. <laughs> they just look like a fucking mug. I messed that corner up. I just want to know what went wrong in their life to make them such a scumbag. <laughs> uh. Do do do. Fortnite happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, there's quite an easy way to um, block them. It's just to have auto mod enabled, but it pisses off a lot of the viewers. So, I mean, the only one it really affects when that happens is. I'd probably end up pissing everyone that's in chat off more. If that just keeps happening, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you sad, fat lumber bones. Oh yeah, piss everyone off, it's fine. That's a me thing. <laughs> Looking at you pisses me off, Kodo, because you're skinny as fuck. Like, why can't I be that skinny? <laughs> Meow. 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 Very nice. I will take my rewards. Thank you very much. You won't know until you try it. <laughs> so I can play f some Fortnite. I, I don't want to know that, Kodo. What happens in your bed stays in your bed, alright? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, it's times like these. Bop. Oh, you bitch. I like money. Money, good. It's times like these. Not that type of nut, I mean build a fort from walnuts. Yeah, totally. That's totally what you meant. Do you know, that is 100% a problem I have with money. If I see that there's... Like, I don't... I was having this um, discussion the other day. I don't have a problem with spending money I don't have. The problem is, if I've got the money there to spend it, I will spend it.
It's times like these. I've just noticed something. If you look very closely, I don't know whether this would go across very well on Twitch, but it will definitely be visible on YouTube. But uh, if you look at the Ferrari's brake lights, it's actually invisible. Not the ones on the side, the one in the middle, the little line. You can see the engine through it. And then when you brake, it puts just a red tint on it. That's crazy. <laughs> Talk it away. I don't know what what to say, I'll say it anyway. Oh, I'm having so much fun today. Shying away. Take on me. Yes, eating stream later today. I shall be eating on stream. No, not with TCS. No chance. <laughs> what a tune. I need to look at getting a higher quality webcam at some point. Nah, I can't do sleep streams at the moment. I, what? What the fuck does that message even say? <laughs> a webcam in 4K. I mean, technically. I am looking for a higher quality one, not for like 4K or anything. But so that I can maybe feature some more like face cam moments in the YouTube stuff. Because who knows, sometimes the face cam might want to make an appearance, and that's quite funny, I guess. And 4K 60 FPS, nice. I do need a 60 FPS webcam, I'll be honest. I want a smoother one. The webcam's not that pixelated, what do you mean? It's just Twitch's bitrate. If I'm fixing that, I need a new PC, or I need that new graphics card. I need a graphics card with an AV1 encoder, because AV1 encoding, yeah, if anyone wants to buy me a 49E, feel free to, I won't say no, just that uh, if you do buy one, please can you buy me a power supply with it as well, because I might need it, thank you, <laughs> no, but um, what is it, AV1 encoding is actually a really useful tool at the moment. Um, for content creation because it literally like the quality of this stream right now it looks terrible right but the quality of this stream is currently running at 3000 kilobits a second because I haven't bumped it up to 5 yet I'm not on a wired network I don't trust it oh god um, for comparison AV1 encoding could probably do this stream at this quality for around about 60% of the bit rate. So I could either squeeze more quality out of the bits that I have or lower the bit rate and have the same quality. That's the joy of AV1 encoding at the moment. No wonder you failed your driving test if you drive like that. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. 16K 500 FPS and HDR. I don't even think there's a graphics card that supports... Like, my graphics card supports 8K. But, like, I've never even used more than 1080p on it. I might upgrade to a 1440p monitor. Not sure yet. I need... Holding on, 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 holding on. Holding on. I love this song. 
Good old Swedish House Mafia. I'm so happy they made like they made a comeback. Make sure you get a good one. I mean, you got a good one at the moment, anyways. I'll probably end up going with another one of these AOC monitors because I've really enjoy the look of these. They're very nice. I need holding on. I mean, you could use the four K mode on your PC as well. The AOC one is actually pretty good though. It's a very good monitor. I haven't tried the 4K one, but yeah. Fair enough, Tom's got taste at least. He's a nothing, but he's got taste. <laughs> I love these Ferraris. <laughs> Knows nothing about PC monitor stuff. I mean, PC monitors are pretty simple to get your head round. Um, I think the only thing you have to try and explain is that Hertz is basically equal to frames a second. It's just how many times the monitor like can update. It's like the most frames a second it can display. I mean, I recommend this AOC one as like a cheap but really good looking monitor because the quality of it. Tom thinks a higher frame rate affects internet performance. Technically it does, in a way. You can do. If you're looking at playing multiplayer games, having a higher um, FPS can typically cause more packets to be sent um, to make like your player movement seem more accurate. I'm not 100% sure if every game does it, but some games, like the more frames you have, the more times it will send data. So it is plausible. It's obviously not guaranteed but it's plausible I fucking love this DJ fantasy I think that's the name yeah DJ fantasy the Ferrari is cool I love the amount of detail they actually put into the map in this game Oh shit.
Do, 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 do. I'll be totally honest, right? I know we're into, like, chapter four of Fortnite. I really hope this is it. Like, this is the end of Fortnite. Just in general. Because... Fortnite as a game needs to die. I know it sounds harsh, but... Fortnite is the leading fact... Like, I'm... I love the fact that the Epic Games CEO... Tim, whatever his name is. I think it's Tim. Or Jim. Or Jared. I don't know. The boss of Epic Games, he's done good with, like... The Apple and the Google lawsuit, even though Epic Games were in the wrong from the start. They did do good to bring down the Google and Apple tax, which has been way too high for way too long. And I think they did a good move. I think Apple has done a good move and Google. At the end of the day, App uh, Epic Games did break Apple and Google's TOS straight up. So, they broke the rules. So, I think people saying like, oh. But Epic Games has, you know, been treated unfairly. I don't think they were treated unfairly. Because they did break the TOS. And is uh, Fortnite back on the Apple Store yet? Or is it still not on there? But no matter what, like, it's not. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, again, they did break Apple's terms of service, so I'm not surprised. But what they did do, getting Fortnite banned for the greater good of the rest of the platform, I think was all right. Um, as for Fortnite itself, it's ruined a lot of the gaming industry. I can guarantee you now, if Fortnite did not exist, um, the way that games are today, we wouldn't have the problems that we all seem to have with video games. Guaranteed. They might have presented it in a different form, at which point we'd then be bitching about that game, but... The way that Battle Royale and... Battle Pass... I hate the format of Battle Pass. Like, if they made... I wouldn't have a problem with Battle Pass if it was... You know, a long-term thing. Like... You bought it, you could do the challenges in it whenever. You know, like how Grid, for example, you buy the extra seasons, you get the extra content, and you get extra races, but you still have to do the races and earn the cars. Stuff like that. That's fine, but I'm not restricted to when I can do it. I know it's not quite a battle pass. Battle passes could quite easily be... Like, the problems of battle passes could be solved for me if they just didn't make it time-sensitive. Tim Sweeney. Fair enough. I don't know why I had Tim Cook in my head, but I know that's the Apple boss. So I was like, I can't think of it, but Tim, Tim something. Tim smart ass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Forza Horizon and character customization is just a stupid idea. Because it's something that most people do once and then never do it again, so. Kind of pointless, putting so much effort into that. Antidote. Yeah, that's kind of funny. We we. Shit. Bollocks. Oh, he's damaged me engine. It's 
So yeah, I need to keep an eye on this. I know Forza Horizon 4 is on sale again. I got an email saying, oh, a game on your wish list is on sale. But Horizon 4, to buy that... Um, the cheapest option I've found to buy it through Steam is 26 quid because I've already bought Horizon 5 and the DLC. I can buy the bundle for 26 quid instead of 30 quid for the actual game on its own. So I get a little thingy, little discount, but I need both DLC. I have to buy the Ultimate Edition. Not because I'm like, oh, I've got to have it. But I've got to have it. Like, I need the DLC when it comes to playing my playthrough of it for this series. Like, obviously, I have it on Xbox, but I want to play the PC version, and I can't play the PC version with the Windows Store. So I just want to get it on Steam, and... Because as soon as I get it on Steam, all the hassles go. Like, Steam is so easy. Yeah, Horizon 5 is not worth the money. But it is cheaper from the get-go. Which I suppose is a bonus. I'm very surprised though that... Um, what's it called? Horizon 5 was selling for like 50 quid, but Activision, which is now owned by Xbox, was sold for 70 on Steam. Seems a bit backwards. I think FH5 is shit. I just think it's not as great as what it could be. There's some good moments in FH5, but because a lot of it is focused on multiplayer, you literally don't have much to do. I'm not doing the Rally DLC. There's no way you can get it. There's no way you can get the Rally DLC unless someone wants to buy, try and figure out how to find me a copy. Yeah, I suppose I could ask someone for a game share who has it. But I don't know who has it that has a game share that I could use. Um... I've still got a year to figure it out, I think, so. Uh, the Fast and Furious one isn't a Forza game. It's like a side thing, like Forza Street, so I'm not bothering with that. Um, I would like, the Rally DLC is the only one that I would like to do that I physically cannot at the moment. So I'd have to have either find someone to game share it with. Um, which, by the way, if anyone's watching and you have the Rally DLC, wink, wink. Hit me up, you know. There is smoke coming out of my car. Oh no. Day and night. I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind. I look for peace, but see, I don't attain. Need for keeps the silly game we play, game we play. Now look at this. Madness the magnet keeps attracting me, me. I try to run, but see I'm not that fast. I finish first, but surely finish last, finish last. What a tune. I love this song. Hey, thank you for the like, Cotto. Appreciate it, man. I 
ah, ah, at night. It's the chicken dance. The head peck. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.